welcome to week 2 topic 2 in the first topic we discussed standard error of mean normality of distribution of standard error of mean measure of variability of sample means spread of sample mean around the population mean and measure of divergence of sample mean from population mean in this topic we shall be taking up the applications of these concepts in research problems let us take an example the mean and standard deviation of 500 teachers of higher education in India in a test of technology enhanced learning were 46 and 7.8 respectively. How well the sample mean represent the population mean? Let us analyze the aspect. What is the sample size? 500. What is the population sample mean? 46. Standard deviation of sample is equal to 7.8. Standard error of is equal to sigma by root over of small n, which is equal to 7.8 by root over of 500, which is equal to 0 0.35. Sample mean 46 will deviate the population mean by 3 sigma. So 3 sigma, 3 into standard error of mean, so 3 into 0 0.35, which is equal to 1.05. Sample mean 46 will deviate the population mean by 1.05. As we do not know the exact population mean, however, we can say with confidence that the obtained sample mean 46 will miss the population mean at best by 1.05. That is, maybe 1.05 more than the population mean or 1.05 less than the population mean. Alternatively, we can say that our sample mean will not miss the population mean by more than 1.05. There are three cases. Let us examine this aspect one by one. Case one. If we check the table A, 68.26% of cases lie between plus minus one sigma. That is 68 out of 100 sample mean will be between population mean minus 1 sigma m and population mean plus 1 sigma m. We have 1 sigma m is equal to 1 into standard error of mean. Our standard error of mean is 0 0.35. So 1 into 0 0.35 that is 0 0.35. Sample mean will be within the range of 0 0.35 less than the population mean or 0 0.35 more than the population mean. The probability of our sample mean being in the range is 0.68. That is, P is 0.68. That means probability is 0.68. That our sample mean of 46 will not miss the population mean by 0.35. This is the level of confidence. This is the level of probability. So, probability is 0.32. That our sample mean of 46 will miss the population mean by more than 0.35. That is, we are 68% confident that our sample mean 46 will not miss the population mean by more than 0.35. This is case 1. Now consider the case 2. 95% of cases lies between plus minus 1.96 sigma m. 5 out of 100 sample mean will be between population mean minus 1.96 sigma m and population mean plus 1.96 sigma m. Let us calculate 1.96 sigma m. 1.96 into our standard error of mean is 0.35. So 0.67. Sample mean will be within the range of 0.67 less than the population mean or 0.67 more than the population mean. The probability of our sample mean being in the range is 0.95. That is, P is 0.95 that our sample mean 46 will not miss the population mean by more than 0.67. Conversely, P is 0.05 that our sample mean of 46 will miss the population mean by more than 0.67. 
that is we are 95 percent confidence that our sample mean of 46 will not miss the population mean by more than 0.67 now let us consider 99 percent point percent level of confidence that is 99 percent cases lies between plus minus 2.58 sigma m the plus minus 2.5 sigma 8 sigma m we are getting it from our statistical table a that is 99 out of 100 sample mean will be between population mean minus 2.58 sigma m population mean plus 2.58 sigma m let us calculate again point sorry 2.58 sigma m 2.58 into our standard error of mean sigma m is 0.35 which is equal to 0 0.90 sample mean will be within the range of 0 0.90 more than the population mean or 0 0.90 less than the population mean the probability of our sample mean being in the range is 0 0.99 that is p is 0 0.99 that our sample mean of 46 will not miss the population mean by more than 0 0.90 conversely probability is 0 0.01 that our sample mean 46 will miss the population mean by more than 0 0.90 that is we are 99 percent confident that our sample mean of 46 will not miss the population mean by more than 0 0.90 these statements establish stability of sample mean and signify the probable deviation of sample mean from the population mean size of probable deviation of sample mean from the population mean is a measure of efficiency with which the population mean can be estimated from the sample mean this is very important now let us consider the same aspect with the help of another one example a new example mean and standard deviation of 300 students of standard 10 of a state in a test of critical thinking were 42 and 6.8 respectively. How will the mean represent the population of the state? Here you are advised to interpret the probable deviation of sample mean from the population mean at different level of confidence that is confidence interval. Knowing the sample mean of a particular degree of confidence how to set the limit for the population mean let us discuss this aspect again in different level of confidence case one refer to normal probability curve we already know that 99.73 percent cases lie between m plus minus 3 sigma m that is all sample mean will be within the range of population mean plus minus 3 sigma M. So, 99.73 confidence interval between the limit of m plus minus 3 sigma m. There are two possibilities. If sample mean is extreme left to the normal probability curve. So, sample mean is equal to population mean minus 3 sigma m. That is population mean is equal to sample mean plus 3 sigma m. Alternatively, second aspect is if sample mean is extreme right to the normal probability curve. So, sample mean is equal to population mean plus 3 sigma m that is a positive deviation. So, population mean is equal to sample mean minus 3 sigma m. With 99.73% confidence, we can say that population mean lie between sample mean plus minus 3 sigma m the degree of confidence is expressed by the probability so p is equal to 0.9973 we are 99.73 percent correct that population mean lies between sample mean plus minus 1.3 sigma m conversely we are 1 percent wrong that Population mean lies outside the interval 
sample mean plus minus 3 sigma m. Let us consider the case 2. Refer to normal probability curve. 95% cases lie m plus minus 1.96 sigma m. All sample mean will be between population mean plus minus 1.96 sigma m. So, m plus minus 1.96 defines 95% confidence interval between the limit sample mean plus minus 1.96 sigma m. Again, there are two possibilities. If mean of the sample is extreme left to the normal probability curve, that is a negative deviation. So, sample mean is equal to mean of the population minus 1.96 sigma m. So, mean of the population is equal to sample mean plus 1.96 sigma m. Second aspect is if mean is extreme right to the normal probability curve, that is a positive deviation. So, mean of the sample is equal to population mean plus 1.96 sigma m. So, population mean is equal to sample mean minus 1.96 sigma m. With 95% confidence, we can say that population mean lies between sample mean plus minus 1.96 sigma m. The degree of confidence is expressed by 0.95. So, probability is 0.95. We are 95% correct that population mean lies between sample mean plus minus 1.96 sigma m. Conversely, we are 5% wrong that population mean lies outside the range. The range is sample mean plus minus 1.96 sigma m. Let us consider the third aspect. From the normal probability curve, 99% cases lie between m plus minus 2.58 sigma m. That is, all sample means will be between population mean plus minus 2.58 sigma m. m mean plus minus 2.58 sigma m defines 99% confidence interval between the limit sample mean plus minus 2.58 sigma m. We will analyze this aspect again in two steps. There are two possibilities. Sample mean may extreme left to the normal probability curve. That is negative deviation. So, sample mean is equal to population mean minus 2.58 sigma m. So, population mean is equal to sample mean plus 2.58 sigma m. Or if sample mean is extreme right to the normal probability curve, means our positive deviation. The sample mean is more than the population mean. So, sample mean is equal to population mean plus 2.58 sigma m. So, population mean is equal to sample mean minus 2.58 sigma m. With this, we are going to find a limit. We are going to find a, a range within which our population mean lies. So, we do not have the exact value of the population mean. With 99% confidence, we say that our population mean lies between sample mean plus minus 2.58 sigma m. The degree of confidence is expressed by 0.99. Means our probability is 0.99. We are 99% correct that population mean lies between sample mean plus minus 2.58 sigma m. Conversely, we are 1% wrong that population mean lies outside the sample mean. That is, our the range is sample mean plus minus 2.58 sigma m. So, here the probability is only 1%. Population mean is a fixed value. It should not be assumed a value between or within a specified range. So, it is not an exact value. It is within the range. Therefore, we use the probability figure. P is equal to 0.95 or P is equal to 0.99 as an expression of our confidence that the interval includes the population mean. That is the why from the sample mean we are trying to find out the position of the population mean. 
whether the population mean is within this range or not or it goes beyond it to what level of percentage we are confident whether we are confident 99% confidence or we are 95% confidence so this aspect we are going we are find, to find out while making assessment of a significance of a mean you are going to respond to the forum questions you will go through the review of documents and also finally there will be a small self check test for you i hope you will enjoy the lesson and also you will find the questions very interesting